Just yesterday, I found out from an old friend of mine that when my mother found out that I had made an investment in Moog Music, she told him, what the heck was he thinking about? She was so worried that uh, I'd basically thrown away everything I'd built up for at that point. Uh, it made me think back to the time when I, I made the decision to invest in Moog, and I think as any entrepreneur will tell you, at a certain point in time, you just have to take a leap of faith. I took that leap with um, a guy who today uh, is very well known and even more well known since the Google Doodle came out uh, last week, Bob Moog, who was a great innovator and, and still to this day an inspiration to this company. About five years ago we started uh, looking for a, a new space because we were continuing to grow. And in that process, we were fortunate to work with Clark Duncan from the chamber. Clark shepherded us through a number of opportunities. Um, we finally found this building, and uh, as a result of that, we're, we've been able to expand significantly. We have a great presence and a great location in Asheville. It really con contributes to the whole culture of the community. There's been many, many people who have helped uh, us move from where we were 10 years ago to where we are today. And of course Bob's the first and foremost of those. But equally important is a whole laundry list of people who without their help we would not have had this opportunity uh, to be speaking with you today and, who, and we would not be the company that we are today without their support. We've been blessed to be associated with thousands of musicians who uh, every night somewhere in the world or playing a Moog instrument, it's fair to say that almost every keyboardist aspires to own a Moog, and that's in large part an indebtedness to those original uh, group of people that Bob worked with.